Hello my fellow researchers, my name is Jason and in this video I'm going to be going over the binary logistic regression in SPSS. Now for binary logistic regression um, you're going to be doing this when your dependent variable is a dichotomous variable and that means that it only has two categories okay so our dependent variable has the first category um, being labeled as no and coded as zero and it has the second category being labeled as yes and it's coded as one so your dependent variable for binary logistic regression has two categories okay now for your independent variables they can be any combination of continuous variables whether interval or ratio they can be ordinal variables or they can be nominal variables and some combination within there is fine and this particular example, or in you know, in any kind of example, you're doing binary logistic regression. You might want to, uh, uh, you know, uh, measure participants or measure something um, on these on these types of variables, and then find out you know whether or not they fit into group uh, A or group B or, or into no or yes or whatever. So there's just two outcomes, and you're gonna you're gonna measure them on a bunch of different variables, and you're gonna find out which box do they fit in. Okay. So this is a hypothetical example I've made, and none of this data is, is, is you know, is real. Um, but it's just to highlight the, you know, the, the, the use of logistic regression. And so for my dependent variable right here, um, the question is, you know, will you succeed in life? And uh, this is a rather trivial example. Uh, yes or no. Okay, will you succeed in life? Uh, no is coded as zero, yes is coded as one. And when you're doing the coding for logistic regression, make sure that you start at zero. Okay, so in this case I have two categories, so zero is no, one is yes, and keep that consistent um, throughout uh, your different variables. Okay, so for example, here I have an ordinal variable, I start at zero as well, and I go up to, up to three there. Okay, uh, back to the explanation here. Our dependent variable has two categories. Will you succeed in life, yes or no? And that's what we're trying to find out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure you on three different variables to try and come up with that answer. And so, well, if I know your IQ, then I might, I might be able to tell you know, whether you're gonna succeed in life or not. There's gotta be some kind of relation between IQ and success in life. I don't know what it is, but I mean, there's, there's gotta be some. It just kinda makes sense, right? Um, well, maybe, maybe not, who knows, but in this case, we have a continuous scale, okay? This, this variable is on a, a scale uh, measure, so uh, w w we're not going to do anything with the, the values, we're just going to leave it as continuous. Um, for education, here we have an ordinal scale, and the question is, you know, what is your highest level of education? So you're going to ask the person. Um, uh, are you high school? Are you college? Are you undergraduate? Do you have a postgrad? So on and so forth. And you're going to know, um, you're going to know whether they which box they fall into. Okay, so that's ordinal. And our final variable is uh, called ambition. And the question is, are you ambitious? And uh, we have zero for no and one for yes. Again, keeping it consistent with our previous uh, variable. Uh, and that's that. That's a nominal scale. So what you're going to do in this example is you're going to go out in the world and you're going to find people and you're going to ask them these three questions. And based on your answers to those three questions, you're going to say, are they going to succeed in life or not? Great. Now, the purpose of logistic regression is to determine um, are these questions are these questions um, good enough for you to determine whether a person is going to succeed in life. Okay, and how it's going to do that is, well, when you go out in the world and you ask those three people these questions, you're also going to have to ask them, did they succeed in life? And you're going to get yes, or you're going to get no. And so here's my data, and you can see succeed here. All the zeros are no's, and all the ones are yeses, right? So all these people, I guess you could say failed in life, and all these people succeeded in life, and it goes on and on and on, all the way down to 120 people, okay? And we've also measured these each of these 120 people um, on the variable IQ, on the variable education, and on the variable ambition. And so we're going to see, you know, does this model, does this model um, allow us to make predictions? Now, let's get right to it. I'm going to hit analyze. 
I'm going to hit regression and I'm going to hit binary logistic and binary logistic. Uh, we're choosing this one because our dependent variable has two categories. It's a dichotomous variable. And so that's why we're choosing binary by for two. So I hit that and now I have my dependent variable box and right there I'm going to throw in my dependent variable. Will you succeed in life? And here we have our covariates box and I'm going to throw in all three of our independent variables right into there. For the method section here, make sure it's selected to enter. Okay, that means that we're going to be doing what's called a forced entry method and that is a default option in SPSS for by uh, logistic regression. Next thing I want you to do is to hit categorical. And here we're going to be throwing our categorical variables into the categorical covariates box. That them being education and ambition. Again, remember education was ordinal, ambition was nominal, but they are both categorical. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first one and down here I want you to choose first and I want you to hit change. Okay, first change. For the second one, click on the second one, come back down here, first is already selected, just hit change. So you see the first pops up uh, in the brackets there. Hit continue. And now here I'm gonna choose options, and I wanna hit our classification plots, we wanna do a goodness of fit, we wanna do a listing of residuals, and we're gonna get a confidence interval. I'm gonna hit continue. And here I'm going to hit OK. Good to go. And we got a lot of information coming up because I just selected a lot of things to look at. And that's great. And in the next video, I'm going to be going over what all this stuff means. So stay tuned. Cheers.